Mo from Cycle Garden and today, right now, this is a bike that we just finished for Victor and this is a 1973 and a half Moto Guzzi Eldorado Police and full restoration. So he ordered it a few months ago. It took us about six months to get this thing going here, but you know, full restoration. It's got the four leaf. So 73 and a half had starting at about 057, 058 uh, US market, they started running this uh, four leading shoe. And they took this brake off the V7 Sport and they used it for about a half a year on the Eldorado series. So uh, the difference between this brake and a V7 Sport, really the only difference is that these stanchions or spacers, whatever you want to call them, are a lot wider because the V7 Sport front end is a lot narrower. But basically, it's used the same shoes. Uh, the rim is different. So this is a uh, uh, Barani 4324 rim. And I don't know if we can catch that with the camera. If we can get down there and here, let me see if we can catch that. Yeah, hold the camera right about there. Let me see right about, we got the sun to deal with today, but right here, 43, uh, 4324. So, which is the same for all 70, 73 bikes and the rear one's the same rim. But um, anyways, that's the story with the uh, four leading shoe. They did put that on the civilians and the police. Let's uh, back up here. And uh, we did put some extra heavy-duty horns on there for him, so you can kind of see him here. He wanted some meteor horns, so we added these BMW, basically a BMW car horn. So let's get another shot of those horns. So yeah. So anyways, they uh, they're pretty beefy. They sound pretty good. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, so we full restoration. Let's start from front to back before I forget because I'm getting old now and getting kind of senile and I forget all the stuff we did on this thing. So these are S&M spotlights. Uh, we make up these spacers. These are stainless steel. Um, you can kind of see them in here if we can get through the light here. Might be too close. Here, pull back a little bit. There you go. So, and then these uh, turn signals here. These are guides. That, those are basically off early ambassador early Eldorado turn signal setups and these um, Guzzi made this bracket to fit the Harley Davidson style guide turn signals so it, it makes the whole front end look really nice and cool and neat and uh, really kind of sweet and let's go back here let's pull back here we're gonna go and show you the friction siren and we'll give you a little so when this cable gets pulled here this thing gets rubbed up against the tire kind of like when you're a kid and you got that you know that little uh, generator that lighted your bicycle light well that's kind of how it is except it turns this rotor and as it turns a lot of rpms it makes that grinding growling sound so that's what that's all about we also put on this thing a springer seat and we had our upholstery guy do this so this is an original pan steel Springer. What makes these different, <clears throat> they make reproductions and the Caribbean Airy style. Uh, okay, so the difference between the US market is that these springs are, they go into cups. On the Caribbean Airy style, the springs go directly to the frame and the front mount is goes directly straight down. This is kind of adjustable. You can kind of, let's go back here and see on the Springer because we don't get to see many Springer seats. So this little piece here is a, it's a slider. So you can slide this up or back a few inches and kind of adjust it how you want it. So that's the real deal uh, US market, North American market uh, Springer seat. And these were pretty much obsolete by 72. So you couldn't even get them from the dealer. So they are getting hard to find. So anyways, it's just a really beautiful bike. We just finished it up. We've got uh, 376 miles on it now we put miles on it just to make sure that we got get rid of any leaks or funny crap uh, make sure the timing's good jettings all that's good so anyways there she is Victor's gonna it's gonna get shipped out here next week so we thought we'd do a video uh, what else can I say a lot I don't know but 
you know, these are our rechrome tanks. We have to cut out the sides and, you know, it's a big giant pain in the butt, but we get them back in and then these are all silk screened, all this Moto Guzzi logo. So a lot of, a lot of labor. Everything is touched, every nut and bolt's touched. Okay, so everything, everything is touched on this thing, every nut and bolt, so we go through everything. Um, and it takes us a little bit of time, like I say, usually six months. So anyways, I think uh, Victor will love it. Uh, it's a beautiful bike, and uh, it's got our big bore kit, our newest edition pistons, balance motor, super smooth. So uh, I guess let's do some drive-bys, and uh, we'll see how everything sounds on this thing. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I get my glasses on here. And if you're looking for one of these, sometimes I get them used or whatever, but if you're looking for an Eldorado Ambassador, you know, give us a call. If you need parts for them, give us a call. Uh, our shop number is 760-972-4800. My email is mo, M-O-E, at cyclegarden.com. And, uh, and our website, cyclegarden.com. So check all that out. And thank you guys very much for checking out the video and spending the time checking it out here. And uh, hope you like it. And uh, hit that like button if you do. And it makes me look good for uh, YouTube. I always trying to look good. All right. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Motor Guzzi.